I'm Zita. I'm a cook, wine specialist, and author. And I love traveling, especially on luxury cruise ships. I mean, what better way to get somewhere than on a floating hotel at sea, where you unpack once, and each day you're someplace new. Cruising only allows for a taste of a place. It's kind of like speed dating. Through the food, drink, and the stories I hear in my short time visiting, I find out what makes that destination special. So let's start our culinary journey on all the best from Z to Q. Here in Ketchikan, I'm really excited. The sun is shining because normally 300 days a year of rain here. So knowing I'm going fishing, that's really what Ketchikan's about, fishing. I'm hoping to catch a big halibut. Temperatures are holding up and we'll go see what I can catch. About 500 miles north of Seattle, this is Alaska's first city. Ketchikan is the southernmost entrance to the Inside Passage and where Alaska's natural beauty begins. What it's known for? Fish, fish, and more fish. And some spectacular scenery and wildlife too. I'm heading over to Baranoff Fishing to meet my fishing guide for the day, Captain Todd. Gotta get my gear on, even get my own pair of extra tough boots. This is my fashion statement. Yes. My Alaska standards this woman is now. I'm official. There. I'm officially right. Alaskan. Yeah, very hot. Very hot. Yes. I'm such a turn on. <laughs> <laughs> This is beautiful. It rains a lot. I know, it rains lot. like 300 some odd days a year. 15 feet a year. 15 feet. feet. I know. Like, Not inches, feet. Yeah. I can't function in that kind of way. You know what? Like uh, in Alaska, one of their sayings is, uh, you don't have any crappy weather, it's just crappy clothing. <laughs> Okay, if that's you, their way around it. If you buy the, it's always good to have you know, good spin. rain gear, yeah. then you're, 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 good to go. you're good to go for sure. So catch can, it's pretty beautiful. Have you been here a long time doing this? Um, this is actually my fourth year in catch can and um, I'm originally from Florida. Aha, so. my hometown, <laughs> where, where I am now anyway. Yes. And uh, yeah, I live on an island. That's far away and different. A lot, yeah, it's a lot different for sure. You know, I got a opportunity four years ago to come and work for uh, Baranoff uh -huh. uh, here in Ketchikan. But fishing is, the is, fishing your, is, is your life, I guess. Is my life. I've been doing it for, oh, guiding eight years uh, on my own. And then before that, uh, I worked for other people and stuff like that. But yeah. I run my own business at home. So That's nice. Yeah, I just, what got, what got you fishing? Just like you were a little kid fishing? And, uh... Well, it's funny because my parents, no one in my family is an outdoorsman and I just love <laughs> the water and animals and everything else. And one day I learned uh, that you could catch a fish on the on a hook and I was sold 100%. <laughs> so I was always able to fish and catch the fish, but I could never get them off the hook. That was my like well, thing. So lucky I'm... for you, that's why I'm here. That's why you're here. You don't have to touch bait. I know, but I'll probably catch a lot bigger fish than I used to catch at camping in these little perch. I hope so. Yeah, I know so. I think <laughs> that so. is the goal for the day, it for is sure. The goal. Without a doubt, that's where that's the goal. This outfit that I work for here, Baron off they yes, my fashion yeah, plate today. They, my fashion they, plate. They set boost. everybody up with you know quality rain yeah. gear so that you can go out and enjoy your experience without feeling the elements. So well, yeah, you don't want to take a guy out and have him soaking wet the entire time. No, that's not fun at all. No, no, so. no. Oh, cool. But, um, well, it's really comfortable too, so that's all right. Yeah, it's definitely not a fashion statement, no. <laughs> without a doubt. No? Don't look good? Uh, no, I mean, it looks good on you for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. So. <laughs> first things first, we get some crab cages set up and throw them in for picking up later on. 
I see. I have my own little crab pot. Mm -hmm. This is your That's crab what they pot. did my name for. Wow. That's your pot. Thank you. We got. What do you uh, use? Yeah. This looks like, I'll tell you here in a second, looks like some salmon. Salmon. Yeah, well, salmon. well that kind of makes sense in a way, doesn't it? What's crazy is, you know, these crabs, you literally can, they will eat a whole carcass. Okay. All right. So You'll what, fix that. What you can do mm. is when I tell you to, yeah. I'm going to have you push that thing overboard. And just then push it. All, right. all the rope will go in to the water. And, uh, and just throw bowl. the buoy out. Okay. So I'm gonna kind of motor us around until I find I want to get in about 65 feet of water. I'm just so happy it's nice out today. I don't know, like you know. Alrighty, let it go. Push her Ready? in. Just toss yep, her in. Just push her in. Then you just kind of help the rope go out of the boat. I do. Yes. Alrighty. All right, we'll get this last one here. Gonna yeah. catch me some crabs. Oh wow, there are porpoises all over the place. Captain thinks this could be a good spot to start fishing. So what I normally do is I tuck it under my left armpit like this. Okay. So you can you have a leverage to work it. Alright, so you kind of tuck it under your left armpit. There you go. Okay, so what I do mm -hmm. is you're gonna feel it, drop it down. See, there's the bottom. The bottom. Okay. So you wanna constantly just kinda of not, you know, you lift it up just a little bit and, and you just kinda of drop it in right to the bottom. That way you you know the baits are right close to the bottom because these fish that they live they're flat fish you know they're like a flounder uh -huh. so they they're actually the largest of the flounder species so what you do is you just dangle it right on the bottom and you just want to keep feeling the bottom just keep feeling it and you're like oh there's right there's the bottom I should really feel it, right? Well, you'll know. Okay. <laughs> you might be guessing right now, but when that thing latches on to the end of that rod. Okay, fish on. Oh, reeling that in is really tough. Well, don't worry, it's only about 300 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what you're going to do, lift, yeah. watch, do exactly what I'm about to do. Lift up yep. and wind down to the water. Stop, lift up, and then wind down to the water. There you go, just like that. Lift up and wind down. Perfect. I never thought you'd see me doing this. That's a that's a soul. That's what we're looking for. That's all bait. Oh my god. That's that's what you look for. Now we are gonna catch some fish. Oh. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop these jigs down there. Stop. Whoa. Hold on. <laughs> we got a big fish. All right. Wind down. Put the one. She's got it. Almost like I knew what I was doing. I cleared that. She's. Yeah. We got you. I can be in the oh. shot. Yeah. yeah, because you gotta help me. No problem. <laughs> I'm here for more support. You're doing a great job. Lift up nice and slow, nice and slow. There you go, and wind down. Wow. <laughs> this is incredible. Ugh. I'm gonna be needing a drink after this. <laughs> keep them coming, keep them coming. Oh yeah, big wing. Oh yeah. Look at this thing. Holy oh shit. yeah, keep oh my them coming. God. Keep them coming. Wow. Keep them coming. Oh. Holy, Holy sh All right. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go slow, go slow, go slow. I know we can't say holy on camera. But I holy know. <laughs> Woo! There you All go, right. girl. Now that's a 
kind of fish we're That's talking right. about. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Yay. There you go. Good job. Now that is a trophy size. That's trophy size cap. and that's good eating. Oh, Open. excellent eating. Yes. Nice. Look at that, All huh? Right. On the vertical jig. Wonderful. Pretty I cool. Did it. Hey. Thank you, Tom. Good job, huh? Now that. As you said, good coaching. I don't, hey. Wow, look at that thing. Lady luck on board. <laughs> so look at that. Me. We're gonna eat you. Look at those teeth. You think he's a predator? I think so. Huh? So one of the cool views that you guys might want to get is look down there. You can literally see into his belly. Sorry. So weird. After that ling cod, what's next? Here I got it. Don't let go now. So another rockfish. Oh, yellow eye. This one's a tasty one. Look at this. That's cute for her. Okay, we're done. Back to the crabs. You gonna pull this it's like thing? like chasing crabs. All right. Yeah, but I knew it was happening. This one's not nearly as heavy. All right. It's pretty full. There's some pretty. Whoa! Now that's what I like when you're crabbing. You can only keep them the big males. Right. If they're females, you gotta throw them back, and if they're small males. So you know the difference between the male and female, right? Uh, tell me, because I, I did know, but All I right. remember. That's a male, that's how you know that's a male. And the girls have the big butt flap. Oh. Big butt flap, okay. Female, male. Right, so you so throw back all females? All females gotta go. Definitely a keeper. See, if oh, it, the sizing thing. See right yeah. here? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a point to if point. If it goes, that one's perfect. Okay. Oop, see? All right, so see how it has to be seven inches? It has yeah. to fit between the points, so right? So it's just, just shy, yeah. right? Yeah, it's going to be like... Yep, just shy. See how it's point Almost. to point? It's fine, right. but it's... it's right, it's, but there's that's got to be in that yeah. den. Yeah. See the gap? Yeah, way too big, way too small. Delicious. Have a look, see. You have to wait till he grows some more. Yep. We'll be back. <laughs> we'll name that one Butter. <laughs> so now we get to eat our catch. Captain Todd has to fillet the fish, and then Chef Paris has to figure out what to do with them. I'm excited to see what he creates. What we caught today. How exciting. Yes, I'm very excited. <laughs> I know. Starving. You are starving. <laughs> well, you created these, so I uh, I'm well, ready. Here, let me uh, get you a little bit of each fish here. This one is your yellow eye. Uh -huh. Just hazelnut and panko crusted bat for you. Oh, wow. Hazelnut. This one, I love it. A little bit of spice. I love it. Is that that's blackened? Blackened. Nice. Yeah, that's your blackened lingcod. And then over here, I got your. This is in, I just cooked it in a dill butter okay. with a little salt and pepper, so it's very simple and easy. Wow, a lot of fish. Yes, good, yeah. <laughs> You're in Alaska, so we give you the Alaska exactly. size portion. <laughs> Sounds good. This looks delicious. Oh, and and the, oh my gosh. Look at that plate. Look at that plate, Look that's a beauty. That. 
Oh. As soon as I get it, I, the, my, my pedals start going. I'm just like, okay, I think this is what I'll do today. Mm. Todd was saying that this cod is one of his favorite fish because oh, it's so yeah. moist and... Without a doubt, it's just... I see what you mean. It's, it's moist it's and kind of meaty. Mm. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, they're always after the halibut. And that's all good. It would have been and nice. It would have been nice. Oh, hey, trophy thing. Go ahead. I know. You guys can catch as many halibut as you want. But the thing of it is, is uh, the lean pod. So I feel, I feel good because you know we're doing something unusual. You guys unusual. had an amazing trip. Mm. This is. Well, oh. I wasn't expecting oh. lean cod at all. That's fabulous. Oh, so good. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be hard to beat. Mm. I'm gonna be begging you for that one as well. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a menu item now. You yeah, see? Yeah. You know. You can, you can name it after me if you like. I will. <laughs> Wait, no, me and you. Yeah, there you go. No, we don't need anything named after me. <laughs> then Sorry. nobody would want it? Yeah, probably not. Not true. But Todd, special, can you do that? <laughs> the TOD? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, I will say you outdid yourself, bro. Mm. Mm -hmm. this, this is great. Excellent. You know, so this blackened is so delicious. Like, I, is it some special spices you put in it? Yeah, it's our, uh, we make this in house as well, our blackened season. It's just a Creole seasoning. Oh, uh, there's, cool. I mean, I could give you the whole list, but it, there's a lot of different spices. <laughs> but you have spices. to tell me, I know. <laughs> Your secrets, I know. <laughs> I like the single engine red, the Kolsch style. That's it's really fun. good. It's a nice one to try. It's kind of like an in-between. Mm. Yeah, in between, it's not too dark, not too light. This glass, I feel very, you know. <laughs> Fancy. You need to put your pinky out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big Which IPA. one are you drinking? I'm drinking the IPA. Uh, Am I allowed to drink one of these on the clock here? I think you can, <laughs> Chef. You deserve it after this meal. Sure. I'll share with you. I don't okay. care. I'm good. I like sharing. This looks good. Yeah. I'm going to try that one then. Let's do the gold. So. Much lighter, lighter. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. lighter food. Yeah, some people don't aren't really big into the stout beers or an IPA because of the hops. It's the hops, yeah, it go, it, because it gives me a, a very bitter aspect. That stout well, looks like very well, heavy duty. That it looks like coffee. It tastes yeah, like it, it doesn't it like, have a little coffee like taste? Heaven. <laughs> it's big and old. Smooth. It's, Dave, you get coffee, it's right? Weird. <laughs> it's weird. It's just and, weird. And it is good. Yeah, let her try. Here. <laughs> no, not for everybody. I no. got this. It, there's a little coffee in there, but there's something else that reminds me of. Maybe it's truly. Like dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't Sorry. go with, if you're Sorry. trying to sell something with somebody, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't think I'm going to go with dirt. I like well, how she, dirt like how she waited. so good. <laughs> she waited till the beer was in your mouth I, when she said that. Well, yeah. it, it didn't come spewing oh, out. The dirt. This restaurant here, you've been working here for a while? Or yeah, I've been it? working here coming up on like two and a half years. Uh -huh. I, I was a commercial fisherman for nine years and I wanted to be the cook on the boat. But that's where I learned how to handle so many different kinds of fish. Right. Because I'm around it all day all long. All day long. And did you have any formal, you didn't have any like cooking lessons? You did no it formal from... training. It was just all on the fly, cooking on fishing boats uh, for you learn as you go and right. you pick things up. And being from here, being in Alaska, that's helped a lot. I live on seafood. I will eat fish for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> like right. my favorite breakfast is some salmon with a fried egg on top. Of really? <laughs> yeah, they do. I, can, oh, like <laughs> I, can, I can attest that that's pretty darn good. I, can, I can say that sounds pretty darn good. It is awesome. <laughs> so what yeah, do you think plate. of the link top? Was it exactly I, what I told you? You know what? You really did it. You did it justice. You described that it is different than other cod, and it, it really is, because it is. It's, um, the density. Yeah. As soon as he said, we got a big link cod. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, you were ready to I'm ready. I'm excited. Now. Ready to go. Well, good. Glad we can make your day. <laughs> made our day. Oh, I made my day. <laughs> well, this has been amazing. I love that we brought you good weather. Us good yeah. weather. Yeah. We kept the water calm for, you know, so we could see everything that we did. Sick. So thanks for pointing out everything, bringing us here, Chef Paris, for this amazing dish. Amazing, uh, amazing it. stuff. Thank you so much. Oh, Cheers, guys. So who would have thought I'd need sunglasses in Ketchikan? It's like the rainiest place in the U.S., but we had a perfect sunny day. 
and best captains take us out. And I know we went out for halibut, but I'm really excited we got the lean cod. I, I never heard of it, never had it. Um, Chef Paris cooked it up, absolutely delicious. And boy, what a day with whales, sea lions, porpoises. It was like a really full, beautiful day on the calm waters in Ketchikan. So stay tuned as we sail away on my next culinary journey on All the Best with Z Tequila.